the good thing about this job is uh, you see the beauty as well as um, a lot of muck that you're digging out all the time. Um, and right now it's sunny and it's raining as usual there is rain but look at this look what we look at how beautiful is that so there are good things about farming that you always outside you always exercising until you're very old and you can hardly walk and uh, yeah you on the fresh air and the air here is really, really fresh, sometimes too much. In my processing room when I make, where I make sausages, at the moment it's two degrees, but hey, it's all about, you know, making this all good and making it all happy. As I was filming on Monday and putting it on, I didn't realise, well, until it was too late, that how wind affected my video. So um, hopefully this is a bit better because I'm putting my hand around the microphone on the phone. I carry my phone with me all the time, like those woke teenagers of, I don't know, 2010 born. But anyway, so um, I've just Darren just fed some pigs, so it's a quiet video of them eating. And on the background, I'll try to zoom in without getting too much wind in my phone. Um, I was talking in the last video. I was talking about uh, animals eating Christmas tree that we had by the shop standing. So today Darren took it on another side of the fence because soy is appreciated more. And because soy has started eating it, so as um, fat random sheep came along, it's like a herd instinct. One eats something, a bag of crisps, another comes along and eats it too. So there you go, their heads in the tree and they munch it. One of the it. things that um, happens um, we get uh, probably once a week we get uh, um, some bread from um, food bank so basically there is a bread collected say from Lidl, Aldi or whatever Morrison's locally and then we distributed all the food we distributed to people who are short of money and need them whatever and then obviously there's some left I mean it isn't obvious but there's some food left and so we got a permission from local authority to um, feed our pigs this particular waste it's not a waste as such it's not been in the kitchen or anything it's just the bread that's been collected from it's a shame there's a lot of bread comes and cakes and whatnot but um, yeah just different type of bread and pigs love it because it's an extra something for them something different and it's good for fattening so usually the girls and boys on the field get it because it is extra fattening there you go and they're all munching on it it's a grumpy sheep son is having some as well <laughs> it's like being in the zoo Some shouldn't he? There you go. Oh no, this is not first. Somebody else getting it. There you go, Bertie. Rupert! I throw on it. Susie, Susie basically taking it off, and Rupert's got a little bit. But, uh, Rupert! A big one. Rube. No. Has to finish that. They use their um, feet to, like dogs do with the paws, if they're ripping things apart. So, Clara's got some there. So, I reckon Susie's gonna be first. Oh, she's gonna nick it from Rupert. See who comes first. That's a bone. Oh, and Susie wins it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you go. Oh, that's a good lad. There you go. 
pigs are very good at um, chewing. They don't swallow, they break into bits and swallow. They actually chew it. So they properly chew before they swallow. Um, yeah. They never just take a bite and, and swallow it. Piglets learn how to eat whatever, what to eat from their mom. I mean, obviously, I gave them bread, but um, Susie's eating, the rest of them are just in a, a bit of a speedy little idiot. <laughs> there you go, that one there. And a piece of bread. More of a toy. It's a joy to, to watch them. They're just uh, happy little souls. There you go. Piece of bread. <coughs> This lot is a bit not as boisterous as to the one. Grumpy Sandra's got a gene of madness, so this one's just quiet. Whilst we're always reorganizing her bed. It is January. Well, this is this is what we've got um, on the shelves uh, today, and usually we do um, make some um, cooking chorizo. Whilst it's available, um, do come and buy it. Um, bacon as well, but what we've got in, ja in January, we've got right now some eggs. It's not something that um, we usually get in winter, so maybe because the um, weather's been so up and down, and, and chickens decided to lay some. So right now we've got some free range like, eggs available. At some point we will film you and show you how the our chicken set up and the, after some storms has been a bit of a battle but nevertheless they're laying eggs and this is quite good it's eggs battery hens and they're laying fantastic the other things we do here at the farm this is the bed for the dogs it's not from ikea but <laughs> <laughs> entertainment is as good has anybody got a phone number for guy <laughs> Guy Lima, a friend of ours, he's been putting up a lot, uh, putting together a lot of um, furniture today. Furniture today from IKEA, so he would be really <laughs> useful. It's not IKEA also, but he's the same designer. Same tent on Lego on. Same person that torments me. How to put dog bed together? It takes uh, one, uh, one interior designer, one Spanish person. All right, then, clever ass. Trampoline for the dog. No, no, no. no. 